Hello, and welcome to another Open March tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about creating pages or sets, subsets, and splitting your pages. Before you create pages in Open March, the first thing you need to do is create tempo. Now, creating tempo in Open March is a little bit involved right now, and it takes some explaining. So we're just going to create some basic tempo to start out with. Click the Add Music button down in the timeline, and you'll see our music dialog show up. For now, just press Create. And you'll see we have a measure of 120 beats per minute. If you keep pressing the Create button, you'll see more and more measures show up. If you're just messing around, you can just press Create for now, and this should work. To create a page, you'll see, now that we have tempo created, that there is a plus button next to the page here. Go ahead and press that plus button, and you'll see that a box with the number 1 shows up. Click on that box, and you'll notice that in the Page Inspector on the top right, it now says Page 1, where before, it said page zero. Feel free to click between these and see how the inspector changes. You can also use our timeline controls in the bottom left. And if you want to change the count of this page, all you need to do is click on the edge of it and drag it to the measure that you'd like. Once you update the counts of a page, you'll see the counts update in the page inspector. To create another page, go ahead and press that plus again and you'll see it be created. Let's shorten these pages to just be eight counts. Now that we have two new pages created, let's change their coordinates a little bit. Let's say on page one, I want all of these marchers to be in a straight line. We can use the line tool that we learned, but super quick, we're just gonna do this, create the line, and boom, the marchers are there. Let's see what this looks like from page zero to page one. you'll see that they animated successfully to page one, but they also did something weird at the end of it. On page two, you'll see that our coordinates were the same that they were on page zero. This might be a bit confusing and you might think that the coordinates should be what's on page one. Um, we're still trying to figure out the specifics of that. So for now, if you go to page two, you can press on the alignment toolbar, place all marchers to previous page positions, and then all the marchers that are on page two will now snap to the position that they were on page one. Let's edit where the marchers are on page two. And let's see what this looks like. Great. Now we have a few other things we can do. Let's create a third page. Say we wanted page two to actually be a subset of page one. To do this, you can just press the subset toggle on the top right which will automatically change the name of page two to page 1a, and then the subsequent page that was page three, now to page two. You can toggle this on and off. The names of pages are automatically generated in a sensible way, so you don't have to worry about them. Another thing you can do is you can split a page in half if you wanna create a subset that way. To do that, simply press the split page button that is in the page inspector and you'll see that that automatically creates another subset of that page and splits the duration in half. If you ever want to add notes to a page so that you have rehearsal reminders for either your directors or your students, simply go to the notes dialog in the page inspector and write anything that you'd like. Click away and you'll see a notification that the notes were saved successfully. Lastly, if you wanna view your page in a full screen view, you can click our full screen mode in the bottom left. This will clear all of the inputs from OpenMarch and let you just view the show and focus on it. You can also adjust this to have a 3D perspective so that you can get a more realistic angle. That's all for this tutorial, and now you have all the tools you need to create pages in OpenMarch.